All right. All right. Came from Adam and Eve, that's a lie. Right. 
Right. If you look at the people that's in Genesis 1, 26 and 27, they was the racist of people. They was the hunters. Ain't no way in the world if you curse a white person, the baby's going to come out black. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> because their genealogy is what? Right. So now, common sense, the Bible is about understanding wisdom and knowledge. So common sense would tell you Adam and Eve would still be on the earth trying to produce 7.5 billion people in what's in the earth now. Amen. So the hunters and the fishing one was made in Genesis 1, 26, 27, and the race of the people were made in Genesis 1, 26, and 27. And then when you get to Genesis 2, you're talking about F. Adam. He was a representative that God would walk with in the cool of the day. Right. And he was a representative that God allowed to have dominion over the earth and was to show the other races of people with how to walk in fellowship with God, the hunters and the fishermen. So, when we get to the second chapter of Genesis, we find God telling El Hadam, which is Adam and Eve, who was made to show others how to walk in agreement with God. Stir the Bible, let me tell you what I'm saying. Yeah. So, if you walk in agreement with God, God has told them in Genesis 2 7, He said, Listen, there's a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Genesis right. 2 7. Amen. He said, There's a knowledge of the tree of good and evil standing in the garden. Yeah. He said, Now I want you to look around at all that I have given you, north, east, south, west. Everything in this garden is yours. Yeah. So that means man didn't have a life. No, no. That means man was well taken care of. That means man, everything man needed, it was in that garden. Amen. Right. And the Bible goes so far as to say that God went by daily to walk with man. Yeah. Uh -huh. That God went by daily to walk with man. Yes, sir. Okay, so now, there's only one restriction on man so far from Genesis 1 to Genesis 2. There's only one restriction. There's a tree right. of the knowledge. It ain't an apple tree. Mm -hmm. There's a tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the midst of the garden. Oh, he said, don't, don't, don't eat of that. Right. Because the day you do, you're surely going to die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of everything God has told them, he said, you can have all this and all this, name the animals, do this, do that. That one thing God told them not to do. I don't want to talk about what it did to man. I don't want to talk about what it did to the earth. Then I want to go to the New Testament and tell you that you as a son and a daughter of God, of God, and what God has given you to do, that this earth that's in so much chaos, is travailing for you to show what God called you to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But instead of man and woman being able to show God or show the earth what God called them to do, man and woman is having an identity crisis because they don't yet know what God purpose is. All right. All right. They don't yet know what God's plan is. Mm. So most of the time, uh, uh, when God has called the pastor, and I'm going back to my, my strategy, when God calls the pastor, the pastor gets big headed and they want to become a God is saved. That's right. Uh, Amen. Now, he want to let people follow them. Uh, the pastor won't tell you he got problems. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and then people start looking at the pastor like he ain't got no problems. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'll be all gone if I'm going to let you look at me like yeah, that. Because I'm going to tell you right in front of me. Anything I can't hide from Jesus, I don't care Say what you so, do. Say so, Because I ain't trying to please none of you up this day. That's go, right. Go, go. I'm not trying to get you to follow me. I'm trying to get you to follow me. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes. So, so therefore, I come in with problems, but God is meeting me because I get up every day with a try. Uh -huh. See, but I want to talk about how Adam and him began to, 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 to obey God, but then God put one stipulation. Don't touch that tree of the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of good and evil, and they found that tree out of all God did. Yeah. They find this one restriction. Yeah. Or did he find it? They find it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did he find it? So now, we got to understand that Satan has 22 names. 22 names that he disguises himself as when he's dealing with you. Now, I want you to understand how Satan uses these 22 names. <laughs> and I want you to understand from the point of view that I'm going back to Adam and Eve's subject. And I'm going to show you just how good Satan is. Now, when you would notice that in Genesis 2 7, read it for yourself, you got a Bible. Yeah. He was a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That means he was Lucifer who became Satan. Mm -hmm. 
And he had wisdom because he worked for God. God created Lucifer. He did not create Satan. Sin, pride, and iniquity created Satan. Mm -hmm. So therefore, he was the tree of good and evil because he knew both sides. So now, he's sitting in the garden in Genesis 2, 7. As a tree in 2, 7. By the time we get to Genesis 3, this joker then masqueraded himself because he know God told Adam, name the animals. Yeah. It's yeah. a snake and animal. Huh? It is. It is. Okay, so so now no doubt Eve was saying to herself, well, my husband just named the animals. He just dealt with the animals. He just have called the animals what they were. How can a man de determine what an elephant is unless he got wisdom? Uh -huh. God said, Adam, whatever you call it, that's what they're going to be. Uh -huh. Now, can you imagine man looking out a hippopotamus and saying, that's a hippo. That, that takes wisdom. But anyway. <laughs> so now Eve is standing here saying, it's all right, I guess, to talk to the animals. And I guess Satan knew what was going on. Uh -huh. So Satan says, he told him not to talk, not to talk of the tree of the knowledge mm -hmm. of good and evil. In order for me to deceive her, let me disguise mm -hmm. myself. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. So Genesis 3 starts out with not just the serpent was most subtle. Mm -hmm. The enemy of the beast. Of the beast. Uh -huh. Said he slid up to her. He didn't come to her as the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He came to her disguised as an animal. Mm -hmm. And she began to relate to him because he questioned her about what God is in. Now, right there is where I want to read is understanding that this is, I have brought you up to the father of mankind. But what I want you to get in your understanding is how when man failed from his identity in God, how that man did not only suffer. The earth, the thorns and the thistles, and the things you see in the earth bring them and how the earth is to the point that man has to earn his living by the sweat of his brow. And that was not in the garden when man had not failed. Right. Man was not cursed when man had not failed. And when man became cursed, the earth had a catastrophic, chaotic event of occurrence to happen. So let me begin to explain to you so you won't say past the sadness of said, but so that you can say the Bible said. Amen. Amen. And when you look in Genesis 3, he begins to talk. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm about Genesis 3, Eight is where we're going to start at. And it said, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden. In the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves. Now, wait a minute. They were walking with God before he did. <coughs> now they hide themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, What art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Uh -huh. And he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree where thou art commanded that thou should not eat? The man said, the woman whom thou gave me to, uh -huh. to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did. The Lord said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? Mm -hmm. And the woman said, The servant beguiled me. Mm -hmm. The servant beguiled me. They went in, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the servant, Because thou hast done these, thou art cursed above all cattle, mm -hmm. and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thy bread, and dust shall thy eat all the days. And I will put enter between thee and the woman, and between thy seed 
received that mercy, and I should bruise that head, and that should bruise his heel. And unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow.
And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to win the redemption of our body. It says the whole earth. In other words, let me put it in plain language. That earth out there didn't know it's living to be this stamp. It's got thorns and thistles, it's cursed in these rain. It's not. There was no such thing as rain before Noah's time. It needs rain because it's been cursed. And it was only cursed not due to a fight of its own. It was cursed but due to the fight of the power of man. So when you look, God had a plan. When you look at God had a plan, when you go into the Bible in Ephesians 1, which is one of my favorite books, when you look at Ephesians 1 that started in Ephesians 1, 9, God begins to break down a plan for mankind. God begins to break down that plan for mankind in Ephesians 1, 9 and 1, 9. And God is saying, my plan is that in the dispensation of the fullness of time, which means dispensation means administration, which means what I'm giving out. In the fullness of time, what I'm going to be giving out is my will to bring everything on earth and in the universe up under my son Jesus that's in hell. So he's saying that I want to bring them together in such unity that I want them to be one. Are oh, y'all with me so far? If you own Genesis, if you own Ephesians 1, you, you, you see what I'm talking about. And Ephesians 1 9 says that God said, I got a plan, but I'm not going to bring my plan together to the fullness of time until I appoint the time. Right. Well, I'm here to tell you today the time has been appointed. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is now time to understand what God is trying to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. The wheels is falling off society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because number one is society don't realize and never has realized or even, even got the understanding the majority of the world thinks society is about what they see. Amen. They don't even stop to realize that there is a spirit world. Mm -hmm. And when, that, when, they, when they begin to deal with God, those 22 things that Satan is that hides in that fallen state of you, that exists in what you see in the mirror, because what you see in the mirror is your biggest enemy, it's not the devil. Oh, uh, you can tell lies all you want to talk about the devil made me do it, and then what makes you do it? No. It's your will to have a desire. Right. It's your will to have an appetite to do what it is you want to do. Okay. Right. You want to do it. That's right. The Bible says if you're going to be in Christ, you've got to deny yourself. Yeah. Pick up your cross and follow him. I'm going so well. Amen. Because I want you to understand that when you are born into the world, according to Psalm 51, I think that's where I'm coming from, it says you were conceived in sin and shaped in iniquity or vice versa. So what happened was you was in, you was in one state. I'm glad I got this right here. This was you when you was born, and let's say this cup is 19 years old. Okay, well, in sin and sin and in iniquity was it formed. So in sin and iniquity, for whatever time God caused this cup, it can do what it wants to do when it wants to do. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to understand today, when you will to give your life to Christ. You got to bring a new you in. That's yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yes. You, 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 you bring holiness in on top of what you always want. That's right. Let me see about right there. What is that? Go ahead. You bring something new in on top of how you used to think. Uh huh. That's right. So you got now two opposing. Cultures inside of one vessel. Mm -hmm. Long as you won't say, you didn't have to worry about it. No. Right. The world loves you. No. You was a good person. Yeah. You did what you wanted to do when you wanted to do it. It was only when you invited that new creature in right. uh -huh. that you had to begin to be just That's right. Yes. Amen. Yes. To yes. Walk God Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. And so every day, Matthew 6 said, in the Lord's prayer, give us this day our daily bread. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So what happened is, the old you is constantly there and will be with you. That's why these lying apostles and these prophets is talking about, I don't see no more. They lying. Yes, you know that old you will be with you to the death. Yes. And begin to tell that new you, if I were 
<laughs> You're not going to fool me with that one. So here's how what Satan will do. Satan will say, well, I need a little ground for Travis. I need, a, I need for him to do something so I can stop him from progressing mm -hmm. in God. Mm -hmm. So Satan will call a meeting with his 22 different personalities. Go ahead, uh -huh. Joseph. So Satan will uh -huh. call slander. Yeah. Uh -huh. Deception. Yeah. That's right. And lying. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And here's the coming. You see Travis down there? Mm -hmm. I don't want God to be able to call Travis faithful. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I want you to go on a sign down right there. <laughs> don't let him know you in your mm -hmm. in, you in his house. That's right. But I want you to go down there and be a sign to move on him slowly. Mm -hmm. So he's slowing down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To catch up with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what happened? The phone around. Mm -hmm. mm. Ain't normally one of my pastor's friends. Somebody that I met in going past. Mm -hmm. And I get on the cell phone and they say, Well, Pastor, you know I was a member of a such and such and such a church. You know they weren't right. <laughs> then, then, the, then those slanderers say, I'm going to make him gossip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah. make him go to gossip. Yeah. And if I can make him go to gossip instead of building people up, mm -hmm. yeah. I can use him to turn people down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So if I mess around and say, well, tell me what your church is doing. <laughs> See, because the church don't belong to me. Oh, no. Say right. so. Tell it. Right. I don't care who the pastor of the church don't belong to me. No, no sir. What God told me is, judgment ain't here. You can discern, but don't be messing with that which is mine. Amen. Right. Yes, so every yes. person that stands up and says that I belong to God, I cannot say whether or not they do. That's uh -huh. right. That's right. What I can say is, no, I ain't going into that. That's your church. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about that. That's right. Church. Amen. I mess around and say, who your pastor? <laughs> well, I'm just not going. <laughs> oh, I know he won't write what they begin with. <laughs> is that right, pastor? Mm -hmm. no, that, that, that's the right mm -hmm. It's right. Mm -hmm. Say to Got slander work. Amen. Yeah. When I hang up that telephone, I done been gossiping. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, that lying spirit will come in. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Satan is a, the father of lies. Uh -huh. yes. He'll come in and he'll say, You all right? Mm -hmm. You ain't did oh. <laughs> You ain't did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. And then you did nothing wrong. So now you ain't going to use forgiveness. For gossiping about another man of God because he don't belong to you. That's right. That's right. So you got lying on you, you got slandering on you, now you deceive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you got three working on you, hitting your head. Mm -hmm. Just as hard as you can be. So Satan works as a disguise, and he got 22 different disguises that he does, and the church is not aware of how Satan comes and when he comes because they think it's just a part of life. Uh huh. So his biggest weapon is deception. That's right. right. Amen. Right. And that's why God said he's going to have to cut the time short because the very elect is going to be deceived. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. thinking that they are something that they are not. Amen. Say so. And they more people thinking they're something that they're Say they so. Say so. Say so. They ever say, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, sister, yeah. I need some help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then to tell you I'm all right. That's Say it, right. That's right. Say it, I can't deal by myself. That's no. Right. no, sir. I'd rather tell you I can... I can tell when the momentum of God slows down in a person. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. It ain't for me to judge him. It's for me to tell him, look, mm -hmm. you slowing down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Your old you about to catch up with that new you. Uh -huh. And if that old you mess around and catch up with that new you, because that battle is constantly going yeah. on. Right. Yeah. That new you is fighting with that old you, and that old you is fighting with that new you. And every time you wake up during the day, God is preparing new but you yeah, can yeah, one yeah. night so that that new you can constantly yeah. be yeah. 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 That old you, but that old you is going to be put in the ground. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes, amen. Yeah. Satan's spirit is so diabolical that when one drops to the ground, your spirit stand back up and say, where yeah. he? Where yeah. he? Yeah. Where yeah. he gone? Let me look at who else in the ground. That's right. Hey. 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 Amen.
Spirits don't go in the grave. No. Uh -huh. They get out of the dead person because they like a live body. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So what they'll do is they'll get off of that person that dropped in the family uh -huh. and get on another yeah. person. Amen. Yeah. That's real. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, what that's all. Your people will begin to say, you look just like mm -hmm. You ain't just like mm -hmm. And then when you go to the doctor, is the hot blood pressure <laughs> in your family? <laughs> oh, yes. My grandma had it. But now if you be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, why you claiming something that, that you've been redeemed for? Yeah. In order for the inside to get to the outside, first and foremost, you got to go through the end gate yeah, for right. you to understand in the mind gate, in the mouth gate, that it got to be come out of your mouth yes. because your mouth is what have the power of God. See, because the first person that must protect salvation and make sure that, oh, you don't come back. That's right. That's right. 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 Uh, that's right. Now, my body is 67, soon to be 68 years old. Mm -hmm. But the spirit on the inside of me is millions of years old. Mm -hmm. You see how that man is crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, sir. <laughs> this earth. <laughs> this earth is stuck in 63 to 7,500 years. Mm -hmm. This earth age. Right. Not the first earth age when the dinosaur was. This earth age. Okay, now, the Bible says in Genesis 1 3 and in Ephesians 1 3 and 1 4 that He chose you right. before the foundation of the earth. Yes. He told Jeremiah, He said, I knew you. Before you ever met your That's mother's right. womb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if that be so, then I was somewhere mm -hmm. before my mother and father knew me. That's Amen. Right. Uh -huh. I got to stop right here for a minute. Uh -huh. If I was somewhere before my mother and father, God said in the book of Ephesians mm -hmm. that I got every, mm -hmm. every. I got every spiritual blessing. I'm finna go to him. I'm finna go to him. Yes, he sir. says, I got every spiritual blessing. So, he said, but I want you to understand, I'm going to bring everything together in heaven and in the earth, in the whole universe. I'm going to bring it to be one in Jesus. Uh -huh. So now, when I stop to think, I am living, ain't I? Amen. Yes. I am living and moving, ain't I? Mm -hmm. Y'all see Yes, sir. <laughs> so, so he did wake me up this morning. Yes, he did. It's in him on the walk. Amen. Yes, he did. It's in him on the still yes, side. That's right. Yes. It's in him I got the blessing. Yes, yes. It's in him I got salvation. Yes. It's in him I live. Yes. Now my being. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. It's in him I have an inheritance. Yes. It's in him that I can. Take that next step. Say yes. It's in him that I can look at that soon. Yes. That's right. It's in him that I even exist yes. in time. Yes. And that when I look and I try to operate outside of him, how do you detach yourself from a God that got the very next breath? Say so. Confirmation. That you need. Say so. So when they call me to the council meeting, they said, that's such a good thing. And counsel that couple up there, I walk in the house and they tell me, 
tune it out. How much can tune it out work? Yeah. Uh, and I'll give you two hundred dollars work. Yeah, but I ain't got this. Yeah. So I tell God, God, you bless me with that money, I'll bless your kingdom. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I tell you. That's what I tell you, I'm telling you what I'll do. Amen. When you get it, yes. Yes. then you're going to bring home your part. That's right. They're going to tax you again. again. That's right. And then they're going to tax you. If you say a million dollars a year, they're going to tax you every year. Do you know that our government is the biggest owner of mega power? That's right. right. Yeah. Did you know that? Yes. But who goes after mega power and power power? Because the wet rich man is To the point that names mean something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything you do to God means something. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when you don't understand or operate in God, you are operating on the outside of God. Right. So you never pay any attention to God. So, but I'm standing and I'm looking like everybody in here looking at me right now while I'm preaching. I'm looking at something. Say so. I'm feeling spiritual. Mm -hmm. And the spirits I feel is a spirit of oneness because everything in the house, when the truth is in the house, has to come up under the suggestion Amen. of God. Amen. In the house. Ain't nothing can come in the house and overpower God. That's That's right. Right. Unless you got a weak preacher. That's right. That's right. That's in the right. pulpit. Uh -huh. I'm a good slam. Amen. Uh, I ain't weak at all. I ain't weak at all. Don't tell me who you I'm a good slam. Uh, I'm going to get down and dirty. I'm going to tell you. With Satan, with people, and anybody else, they get in my way. Confirmation. So I stay to myself. Mm -hmm. I stay to myself. Right. So here's the deal. I have to. I, I love right. seeing y'all come in here on Sunday. I really do. But see, the one thing I ain't gonna fool you about. Mm -hmm. When somebody come to you and say, Pastor, say it, I want to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. I can Pastor say anything about you if he don't hang with you. Say, say so. so. Right. Right. There you go, Pastor. Huh? In order for me to know anything about anybody, I got to be around them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to talk to them. Yeah. If you don't talk to me and you don't be around me, you don't know me. That's right. Uh -huh. But you better look at what I am today. That's right. Because that's where I was yesterday. Well, that's right. I'm identifying with a whole new system. Yeah. I'm walking in a whole new system. I'm blessed in a whole new yeah. system.
I've got churches that wouldn't let me speak in the pulpit, but want me to come cast out demons. Mm -hmm. Say yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I tell them? Okay. You know what I tell them? <laughs> oh, oh. You know what I tell them? Yeah. yeah. You must have. Number one is you don't need to be summoned to me because I ain't got no power to cast out a demon. I call Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell it. Walking. Oh, my God. You got a trap. You got a trap. And they can't get it. The power in the name of Jesus ain't in your church. You need to close your doubt. Hallelujah. That's right. I heard that Miley Cyrus just went number one with her record called Flowers. Oh. I couldn't understand it when I heard it. <laughs> so, 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 you got these things that you look at, that you desire, but the only thing and the only power they got to give you is what difference in the Super Bowl they're going to play this year. Say it. In the one they played last year. And the one they play, you say, but well, I like to look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at young <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> but there's some things I like to look at, Tim. That's right, I know what you mean. But it don't do me good to look at them. No. Because once I pass them, it's just a temporary thing. That's right. Right. It's just a remembering in my mind. Right. Mm -hmm. What God is trying to do is instill everlasting. That's right. Yes. That's right. But we keep looking at things that's temporary, mm -hmm. wanting things temporary, mm -hmm. going after things temporary. Mm -hmm. And that's what Satan is diabolical. Right. Quick, uh, quick, quick. Uh, I, I see people all the time never get a car to drive. Mm -hmm. But you see them on some of the most advanced iPhones you mm -hmm. ever That's right. Yeah. That's right. Wearing Air Jordans yeah. mm -hmm. with Calvin Klein pants on. <laughs> and when I go to Roses and get in my teeth, I'm a blue. Hallelujah. Yes. Because it ain't my kids and how much they right. close that makes me is what I feel about yeah. myself. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> when I go in the midst of my friends, they might notice that I'm missing something. Mm -hmm. But I don't care. That's no. right. No. No. That's if I'm satisfied with it, if I'm content with it, if I'm at peace with it, then I got peace with it. Show me stuff. <laughs> About two hundred fifty dollars. Oh, come on, 
the back and get him a walk in closet. <laughs> Turn the light up. Give me a big piece of film. I got a tin can. Then <laughs> that done that too. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but then I said, well, give me a big piece. I got about 20 of <laughs> Take me a shot of vodka. <laughs> and I would like to do a little dance while I'm getting ready. Now, I'm going to get this glass. <laughs> in about a minute and a half, my world was like this. Yeah. But after a minute and a half, it was I, the most messed up as high I've ever in my life. I'm trying to get you. But then I said, I got to try it again. I went to chase what I was trying to get in the red time and right. don't ever get in the rest of the night. Nothing at all. It's all my money chasing. Look at that. And I'm like, yeah, God. <laughs> what I was looking for. <laughs> money goes. Yeah. That's what Satan does yeah. for the world. Amen. Yeah. The yes, governmental sir. system is made up to take every dime yeah. the poor man can make out yeah. and tell him he is content in this world, but he ain't got nothing but a passing fantasy. That's, that's, that's right. right. It's that's not right. the American dream, it's the American ball. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. something to make a living. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Some of the best meals ain't never been cooked in the graveyard. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Never owned a restaurant. That's right. Some of the best businesses never been established. Some of the best sermons never been preached in the graveyard. That's Amen. right. Huh? Amen. That's true. That's true. That's true. So I'm going to end it with this right here. I want y'all to understand something. I understood this a long time ago. If God is committed by himself, mm -hmm. he's committed when he enters into you. Yes, yes. Right. yes. If God is loved by himself, mm -hmm. he's loved when he enters into you. Mm -hmm. If God enters into you and love don't come out, there's something prohibiting your love. Go ahead now. I'm telling you what it is. I don't get to judge what it is. Mm -hmm. But I promise you this. It's terrible. I try to watch them 22 different personalities mm. saying they got yes. because they are at work 24 hours a day. Yes, Amen. The Bible says he seeks as a royal lion right. to whom he may devour. Yeah. I'm not going to let him devour me. No. No. Right. So what I do is use the power of God. Amen. Anytime you slow up when you're running every day, the reason why God, I want to talk about God, mm -hmm. the reason why God makes mercy every day is so that you can have it. Amen. If you ever slow up running, that old you gonna catch you. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. My Lord. You can say Amen. That's true. Amen. You can say Amen. You know what I do? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Spirit of living God in the song that is each first born. We thank you, God, for every visitor in the house. We thank you every word for every word that we say. Let it separate yes. each down in our house. <laughs> Let it lead God and direct our footsteps. Bless the tithe and the offering. Yes, sir. Bless those that gave and those that didn't have to. Lord, Glory. Because we don't ask for no money. Because if you're not a God big enough to finance what you need for us to do, then we're serving the wrong God. Yes. Yes. Help us, Lord, to continue to end when you abide in you, Lord. Hold on to you and continue to let us be zealous for you, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.